This is the Nest Wi-Fi, and it has a feature that I think all routers should have. Let's take a look at it and see how it performs. Hello tech friends, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Craig. I'm a tech nerd, and I love seeing what tech can do for us. If that sounds like something you're into, stick around. Full disclosure, the Nest Wi-Fi was sent to me to check out, but I'm not being paid for this video or my thoughts. For those of you that are familiar with my channel, you know I'm invested in the Amazon ecosystem. But I also use Google devices too, such as my Pixel 4 and the Google Home Mini. I like what Google is doing in the smart assistant and AI space. This is one of those products that I find interesting. Google did something new by including the Google Assistant in the access points. It's offering more functionality for a device that's usually just sitting there. Let's look at that and see how it makes this router special and how well it works as a router. This is a mesh Wi-Fi setup. So if you're not familiar with mesh Wi-Fi, the way it works is when using a typical router, the further you get away from the router, the weaker the Wi-Fi signal gets and the slower your connection. A mesh Wi-Fi network consists of a router and access points. The access points help strengthen the network by adding additional Wi-Fi coverage with each access point you add. This blankets your whole house with strong Wi-Fi signal to maximize your internet speed. So no more having those dead spots in your house that don't have strong Wi-Fi signal. You just put an access point there and it'll strengthen it up. This is important as we add more and more Wi-Fi devices and we need more bandwidth for streaming services. With the Nest Wi-Fi, you can purchase just the router for 169 and this gives you 2200 square feet of coverage or you can get a router and access point like this setup for 269 and this will give you 3800 square feet of coverage now each additional access point costs 149 and will bring an additional 1600 feet of coverage you can get these access points in three different colors you have snow white a cool looking mist blue and this pinky sand color I would go with blue or white. Now something to think about, the square foot coverage is line of sight in an open space. Walls will affect how far the signal will actually go. Now my house, it's not big, it's 1800 square feet. It is a two story house, so I need the access point to be able to get both floors nicely. I'm not gonna go too crazy on the specs for these. They're listed here, feel free to pause, you can read about them. Good, we're done with specs. Nest Wi-Fi is easy to set up. You plug in your router with an ethernet cable to your modem. You give power to the access point. Then you go into the Google Home app, add a device, and follow the on-screen directions for the router. Once the router is set up, it will see the access point. You hit yes and set that up. Then you answer a few questions and you're good to go. The router does have an ethernet port that you can plug in a single device or you can connect an ethernet switch for more ethernet ports. Like in my house, I have a switch that went into here so that I could hardwire my computer here and my computer back here. And you can manage your router right from the Google Home app. You can see your internet speed, devices that are connected, prioritize devices, and easily share a password for guests. You can also control connections with how long a device can use the internet, when a device can be used, and use safe search to prevent unwanted sites. The router can handle 100 devices and each access point will give you an additional 100 devices. Nest Wi-Fi also helps keep your network secure with auto updates to the software. Like I mentioned earlier, what makes this router different and special compared to other routers is that the access points have Google Assistant built in. You get the same Google Assistant you would find on the Google Home and Nest Hub devices. I think if you're gonna have these access points throughout the house, why not have an assistant built in? Or if you want an assistant, why not strengthen your internet by having something like this that will give you both. Like any other Google Assistant device, you can ask questions. How's my commute? The best way to get home by car is via Lake Lindero Drive and will take about one minute in moderate traffic. You can see the full directions on your phone. Okay, it's gonna take me about a minute to get home. What movies are playing now? To get started, here are a few popular movies playing nearby. Bad Boys for Life, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and Frozen 2. What's the weather today? Today in Agora Hills, it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 58 and a low of 39. You can control your smart devices. 
Turn off Office One light. That light went out. Call my cell phone. I can help by making your Pixel 4 XL ring on full volume right away. Would you like me to do that? Yes. All right, your phone should be ringing now. You can also listen to music with the built-in speaker and even have an EQ to dial in the sound the way you want. Play classical music. Sure, check out this The Best of Classical Music 50 Greatest Pieces station on YouTube Music. If your internet's feeling slow, you can always ask, what is my internet speed? Okay, testing the internet speed. I'll tell you the results shortly. Your network speed test has finished. The download speed on the CNET is currently 230 megabits per second, and the upload speed is 21 megabits per second. You gotta make sure you're getting that speed your internet provider is charging you for. Don't want to get shortchanged. Now, if you have any privacy concerns with having a virtual assistant, Google does give you tools to control your data. You also have a physical mute switch to turn off the microphones. The mic's off. This is great having Google Assistant built in, but how well does it work as a router? Prior to this, I've been using a great small business solution mesh setup with hardwired access points. It's more than most people would need or maybe want to deal with. I pay for a 200 megabits per second connection and typically get between 175 to 235 megabits per second on Wi-Fi. Now let's look at the results I'm getting on the Nest Wi-Fi compared to what I already have. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison in different locations in my house. House. First test was right next to the routers to kind of get a base of what I would expect to be the maximum speed. For the next test, I went into my office and the Nest Wi-Fi was able to beat out the ubiquity and maintain speeds above 200 megabits per second. From there, I went into the living room and both routers were able to still maintain above 200 megabits per second, which is great because that's where I'm going to do most of my streaming for video. For the last test, I went to the furthest point away from any of the hotspots, and this is where I saw the biggest dip in the Nest Wi-Fi. Now, I'm not surprised that I was able to find one of these points in the house that the Wi-Fi just wasn't as strong as other places. I have been impressed by how well the Nest Wi-Fi does compete as a true wireless solution. Now, short of going in with hardware access points, I don't think you're gonna get a much faster network. Overall, I've had a good experience over the past month of using this and think it's a great step forward. I predict that this is just the beginning and other companies are gonna be copying Google and adding assistance to an easy to set up system like this. What are your thoughts on using a mesh network? and having an assistant built into your router or access points. To learn more about another Nest product, make sure to check out this video over here. The Nest Hub Max has been a great device. I will see you over there. Thanks for watching.